I am explaining the dimensional formula of different physical quantities. There are seven fundamental quantities like mass, length, time, temperature, luminous intensity, electric current and amount of substance. By using these fundamental quantities, we are writing the dimensional formula of different physical quantities. Power is equal to work done by time. Work is the physical quantity. Work means force into displacement by time taken. Force means mass into acceleration. Force means mass into acceleration. Yes, represents displacement by time. Mass is the fundamental quantity. Its a dimensional formula is a capital M. A means acceleration, acceleration dimensional formula Lt power minus 2. S means displacement, S means displacement nothing but the shortest distance between the two points. S means it is nothing but a length only. S means length by T means time. T means time, time dimensional formula, capital T. M I am writing M. M means M power 1. L into L, L square. T power minus 2. Here it is T power plus 1. Comes to numerator T power minus 1. That is equals to M. L square. T power minus 2, T power minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, T power minus 3. This is the dimensional formula of power. Now, one dimension in mass, two dimension in length, minus 3 dimension in the time. This is the dimensional formula of power. Linear momentum. Linear momentum. It is represented by the letter P. Linear momentum, it is represented by the letter P. Suppose I have taken one stone, small size stone. I am throwing the stone into the air. This the stone is having some mass moving with some velocity. Mass into velocity we are calling as linear momentum. Linear momentum means mass into velocity. Mass into velocity. Mass is mass. I am writing mass only. Velocity means displacement by time taken. Displacement by time taken. Mass is the fundamental quantity. It's a dimensional formula capital M. Displacement. It is the shortest distance between the two points. Displacement is nothing but a length only. Displacement means a length. Time. Time a dimensional formula capital T. T means T power 1. That is equal to M. M means M power 1. L. L means L power 1. T power plus 1. If it comes to numerator, T power minus 1. This is the dimensional formula of linear momentum. Impulse or impulsive force. A large force acting for a small interval of time. Suppose, now I am the batsman. While I am doing batting, I am applying a large force on the ball for a short interval of time. Impulsive force is, impulse is equal to force into time. Force into time. Now, force 
means mass into acceleration into time. Mass is the fundamental quantity. It's a dimensional formula M. Acceleration dimensional formula L t power minus 2. Time dimensional formula T. This can be written as M m power 1 l i am writing l power 1 t power 1 t power minus 2 t to the power of 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 nothing but minus 1 this is the dimensional formula for the impulse you observe momentum dimensional formula m l t power minus 1 impulse dimensional formula m l t power minus 1 Linear moment and the impulse both are having the same dimensional formula. In the neat exam, they are asking the one question like this. Which of the following pairs of physical quantities having the same dimensional formula? You have to write linear moment and the impulse both are having the same dimensional formula. Pressure. Pressure formula. Force acting per unit area. Force by area. Force acting per unit area. Here. Force means mass into acceleration. Force means mass into acceleration. Area I am writing. Area means length into breadth. Area means length into breadth. Mass I am writing a mass only. Acceleration means velocity divided by time. Acceleration means velocity by time. Acceleration means velocity by time. Length I am writing length. Breadth I am writing breadth. Mass. Velocity means displacement by time. Velocity means displacement by time. Velocity means Displacement by time. Mass I am writing mass. Velocity. Displacement by time. Denominator length. I am writing length. Time. I am writing time. Breadth. I am writing breadth. Now. Mass is a fundamental quantity. It is a dimensional formula. Capital M. Displacement. It is the shortest distance between the initial and final portion. Displacement means length only. Displacement means length by length L time T time T breadth. Breadth is nothing but length only. Breadth is nothing but length only. The length is breadth. Breadth is nothing but length only. Breadth means length. L, L cancelled. That is equal to M. Its meaning is M power 1. Here L power 1. It comes to numerator. L power minus 1. T into T. T square. T into T. T square. It comes to numerator. T power minus 2. This is the dimensional formula for the pressure. M power 1. L power minus 1. T power minus 2. 1 is the dimension in mass. Minus 1 is the dimension in length. Minus 2 is the dimension in the time. Tor Torque is nothing but a turning effect. Suppose here there is a one nut or bolt. It was a tightly fixed. It was a tightly fixed. It is not a rotating. Now I have taken one spanner. I have taken one spanner. 
I have taken one spanner. In mechanic shop it is available. I have taken one spanner. Now this is the one spanner. Now I am applying the force at the edge here. Now this is the force. This is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. If I am applying the force here, this is a rotating. This is a rotating. It is a turning. This is a turning effect you are calling as a torque. Torque is equals to. Torque is equals to. Torque is equals to. Force into perpendicular distance. Force into perpendicular distance. Torque means it is nothing but turning effect. Force into perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. Force. Force means a mass into acceleration. Perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance. Nothing but a length only. Perpendicular distance I am writing distance. Mass. Dimensional formula M. A means acceleration. Acceleration dimensional formula Lt power minus 2. Distance. Distance means length only. Distance means length. Dimensional formula L. M into L into L. L square. T power minus 2. This is the dimensional formula for the torque. M power 1. L power 2. T power minus 2. 1 is the dimension in mass. 2 is the dimension in length. Minus 2 is the dimension in the acceleration due to gravity. Now, it is the earth. Now, this is the earth. Now, a small stone is dropped from the certain height. Initially, I have dropped freely falling body. Initially, its velocity is 0 meter per second. Here at this point, 5 meter per second. Here, 10 meter per second. Here, 20 meter per second. As the body is approaching near and nearer to the earth, its velocity gradually increases. Starting velocity 0. Next 5, next 10, next 20. There is a change in velocity with respect to time. From time to time its velocity changes. Now there is a change in velocity. We are calling as acceleration. The change in velocity due to the earth attraction. We are calling as acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration of a freely falling body due to earth attraction. We are calling as acceleration due to gravity. In the case of freely falling body. Starting velocity is zero. Next velocity 5, after 1 second it's velocity 5. Next after 1 more second it's velocity 10 meter per second. It's velocity gradually changing. There is a change in velocity with the time. The change in velocity we are calling as acceleration. This acceleration with rest, due to this up the attraction, this type of acceleration we are calling as the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity is represented by small g. Its value 9.8 meter per second square on the surface of the earth. Now small g is equals to 4 pi square into L by T square. In this formula, L represents the length of the pendulum. T represents the time period. T represents the time period equals to 4 is a member. It is a constant, no dimensional formula. Pi, 22 by 7, it is a member, constant. Constant means no dimensional formula. This total term is constant. Constant means no dimensional formula. L represents the length of the pendulum. Length is a fundamental quantity. Length of dimensional formula L. T means time period, nothing but time. 
टाइम डायमेंशनल फार्मूला टी स्क्वायर की स्क्वायर एल टी पावर प्लस टू कम्स टू न्यू मारेटर टी पावर माइनस टू दिस इज द डायमेंशनल फार्मूला ऑफ एक्सिलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी अदरवाइज दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस इन दिस नो मास टर्म एम पावर जीरो एल पावर वन टी पावर माइनस टू दिस इज द डायमेंशनल फार्मूला ऑफ एक्सिलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी एक्सिलरेशन and acceleration due to gravity both are having the same dimensional formula potential energy potential energy is the energy possessed by the body by h of its height suppose now this is one building now this is one building i am standing near the building one student from the first floor dropped one stone on me here height is less that due to the height the stone applies some energy on my head that energy we are calling as potential energy now if the same student is dropped the another stone from the second floor second floor height is more due to the more height the stone is striking my head i got more energy i received more energy due to the height this type of energy we are calling as potential energy potential energy formula m g h m represents mass mass dimensional formula m g means acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity dimensional formula l t power minus 2 l t power minus 2 acceleration due to gravity dimensional formula l t power minus 2 mass f acceleration due to gravity l t power minus 2 height 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 is height is nothing but a length only height means a length height dimensional formula l m L into L, L square, t power minus two. This is the dimensional hmm. kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body by virtue of its motion. Now, now this is one car. When the car is running, when the car is running with a velocity a hundred kilometer per hour, when the car is in motion, the car is having velocity. Due to the velocity, this car is having kinetic energy. If you stand in front of the car, this car applies the energy on you. You are moving one kilometer away from the road. That is the kinetic energy of the car. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body by virtue of its velocity, by virtue of its motion. Kinetic energy formula: half m v square. Half m means mass, v means velocity. Square. I am writing square. Now please listen here. Half is a number. Number means no dimensional formula. Half is a number. Number means constant. Constant means no dimensional formula. Mass. Mass is a fundamental quantity. Its a dimensional formula is m. Velocity. Velocity dimensional formula l t power minus one. Square. I am writing square. Yeah, L square t power minus yeah L square t minus one into two minus two. This is the dimensional formula for the kinetic energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, rotational energy, any energy. The dimensional formula is m L square t power. Minus two ml square t frequency. Frequency means what? The number of oscillations in one second we are calling as frequency. Suppose simple pendulum is oscillating to and fro. Number of oscillations in one second we are calling as frequency. Frequency means 
number of oscillations number of oscillations or number of byte time number of oscillation it is a number number means no dimensional formula one i am writing time time a dimensional formula t here t power 1 t power 1 comes to numerator t power minus 1 this is the dimensional formula for frequency 